Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to cover how to open um, the NIC collection plugins while using uh, Capture One by Phase One. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do, so hopefully this will be pretty quick and straightforward. Um, the easiest way to approach this is with Capture One open already, just right click on any of one, of one of your photos. As you can see here, I have a uh, many options here, but what we're looking for is Edit With. Uh, notice right below what we have open with, I haven't tested this to see if this works properly, but an edit with gives us a little bit more control. If we choose edit with, we get this next prompt up here, and notice we have format options and uh, compression and color channels and so on and so forth. Um, be sure to customize this to your taste before you open your photo in the NIC collection plugins because NIC can't handle RAW. Uh, RAW files will not open so you need to convert them first. Um, having control over how it converts gives you a lot more flexibility. Uh, next at the bottom we're going to change how our program that we're going to open it with from Photoshop. Um, once you open up a NIC collection application, it will list down here, but if we, since we haven't done that yet, we have to browse for it. So make sure you browse. And we're going to jump right into our C drive and into Program Files. We're not going to go to Program Files 86. It defaults to the regular Program Files. And then we're going to come down to Google, and here's our NIC collection. So if we open this up, we have a folder for each plugin. And I'm just going to pick the analog effects just for this example, but this will work the same for all plugins included. If we open up this folder, we have an EXE file here. Notice we also have a 64 bit folder as well. If you've got more than 4 gigs of RAM on your computer I, in a, a modern processor, I would recommend going to the 64 bit uh, version because this will give you more, uh, more resources for the application to access. Um, it basically, it lets the plugin take full con full advantage of the resources in your hardware. Uh, the regular version is limited to four gigs of RAM and, and some of the processing power. So if we choose this and edit, now it's going to export our file as the TIFF that we had selected or whatever else we might have chosen, and it will launch our Analog Effects NIC collection plugin. And here's the photo that we had chosen. It applies a, a default um, effect. Uh, so this isn't actually the conversion. If I choose a different one down here, you can see it's, it changes the look and we have full control over the, the look and feel in analog effects. Um, I'm not going to go into how to use the specific plugin, but I wanted to kind of introduce how you can move from Capture One into the Net Collection. Uh, so you don't have to use Photoshop or Lightroom or Aperture. Uh, thank you, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.